Yeah, it's definitely changed. I mean, uh, we, we released an album. Our first album was the first 12 songs we wrote, and it was just, it's kind of neat to go back and listen. It's just kind of how pure and innocent and just reckless and like anything, any idea somebody had, it was a good idea just because it was exciting to have ideas. It was a new thing. When we started the band as well, we were two electric guitars, electric bass, drums, vocals, standard rock band. We didn't even own acoustic guitars at that point. So, and everything sounded, you know, we recorded the first record in 95. It sounded like music we were listening to then, so very. And everybody you know, was listening to different stuff, so it was just a like, horrible mess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was fish, like. Music. Fish and the Grateful Dead meet the Red Hot Chili Peppers meets Nirvana, all kind of terrible. stuck together. But, you know, and then we started as we wrote more and started. You know, we got some acoustic guitars, Carter got a mandolin, Barry picked up the penny whistle, and things just started, you know, everybody started throwing in different flavors, and the, the sound really matured, and we, you know, it's like, whoa, that sounds really good. You know, if you play the, a similar melody on an electric guitar, if you throw it on a different instrument, put it on a banjo or a bazooki or a mandolin, all of a sudden it takes on a very different flavor, even though it's the same melody. So it was it really caught our ears quickly if we, you know, change the formula just a little bit. And likewise, fans... It was more fun for us and more fun for the fans. Yeah, and likewise, the fans were more responsive, it seemed, to, to the um, acoustic instruments, and so that was inspiring to kind of pursue. Um, but by the second record, it started to sound kind of like where we, where we are now. Right? Heading so, there, yeah. Heading yeah. there. By the, it was starting to get, get to where we are going.